Hey there, welcome. Thanks for joining me. And uh, we're going to be doing a little meditation today to work on grounding love, embodying love, bringing love into our beings on a deeper level. So whether you're working on self-love, which we, we all should be working on self-love, or, you know, if you are, you know, a twin flame or something like that, or if you are just wanting to expand the powerful presence of love within you so that you can be a more loving presence in the world, which will help you to embody your purpose, to start really living from the heart, living your purpose. So this technique is going to help with all those things. And I'm really going to be approaching this more as a technique, meditation technique, rather than pulling you through a guided meditation. So it's it's really about, you know, once you learn the basic technique, you can adapt it. And you can also adapt it to other emotions, uh, peace, or joy, or bliss, anything like that, gratitude, compassion. Okay, so I'm just starting with love, but you can use this with any of those or others. And I'm calling it a Mother Earth meditation because really it is about embodiment, okay? And that is like working with the earth. We're working on the physical plane. We're working to bring spirit into the physical, into the material plane, because that's this marriage of heaven and earth. You know, if we're going to work to make the world a better place, to bring heaven to earth, we really need to embody it. And that's what this is about. And just as an aside, like, this is a really important step for manifesting what you desire. Because what we're going to be doing is training the mind, the emotions, and the body to work together to start to operate from the frequency of love or of whatever emotion you choose. Okay? so that they're aligned. And when your spirit, mind, and body start coming into alignment, that's when you can actually start making, you know, uh, you're going to start seeing results. You're going to start seeing, you know, your desires coming into fruition. But it really needs to come into, like, the emotion level. It's tuning into that emotion, which is super powerful, and then bringing the body into play so that the the physical can follow where the emotions go. Okay, so we're going to start with the breath. If you can just start by sitting or standing, um, and you know, probably easier to sit, and just make sure that your spine is straight. Pull your shoulders back a little bit, back and down. Put your head over your heart, heart over your pel pelvis. Make sure everything's aligned. And sit comfortably, and allow your breath to just start just flowing naturally. Just start observing the breath. Take a few nice, deep, natural breaths and find that place of calm and center within. And then what I'd like to suggest doing is choose the emotion that you're working with. I'm going to be working with love, so I'm going to, you know, be speaking that. And just start repeating that as a mantra. So love, love, love. What we're going to do is really focus the mind on love. So we're going to be coming into a meditative state with love as the mantra. Just keep bringing the mind back to that. If you have a mala or prayer beads of any sort, then you can actually use those beads, you know, with this with this uh, little meditation. Just love, love. Okay, so keep breathing, keep centered, maintain this meditation, and you might also want to have a visual to help you focus. So I've put one of my paintings. Up here, this is a painting that really is about love. 
and uh, so or you know any kind of mandala or if you have another symbol or something that reminds you of love if it helps to visualize that or look at that you can do that as well you might also want to bring other senses into play like you might want to just stroke your hand gently very loving stroke you know with each time that your mind goes love love you might just want to stroke your hand um, so you can bring the physical touch because that's very powerful. You might perhaps hold a crystal like a rose quartz would be a really good one or wear that as you're doing this meditation as well. And finally, you could perhaps burn a candle that's scented or use some aroma therapy, essential oil, maybe rose or geranium essential oil, something like that to help bring that sense in because we're, we're really wanting to involve the senses. We're bringing, remember, we're bringing this love into the body because it's through the body that we can really operate in a powerful way. Okay, from here, remember, we're, we're sitting straight and tall, just breathing naturally, using your, you know, love as a mantra, bringing your mind back to that and bringing the body into play either with a visualization, with touch, you know, with physical sensations. So just recapping what we're doing. And then what we're doing is really focus on that emotion of love. So if you can think back to, you know, something that brings up that love emotion, what love feels like. And we've all had moments that we felt love, you know, and I'm going to encourage you to just like, just focus in on the emotion of love and let go of any of the stories around it. So, you know, whether you're associating the love with a person or a place or whatever, you can start with that, but then let the person, let the place, let the story fall away, let that dissolve, and just focus into the feeling of love. What does it feel like? What does love feel like? Remember, keep up that, whether you're stroking your hand or the, the mantra, love, love, love. But the important thing is really to focus in on the feeling of love. And from there, just stay there for a while. As long as you want just the breath, the sensations, the feeling, pure feeling. You're not giving love. You're not really bringing it in. You're simply experiencing it. Experience the feeling of love. Really feel that emotion. Feel the emotion and observe what that emotion feels like in your body. Observe as you sit with this emotion, with this emotion of love. Observe the changes in your body. Observe how your body may open, may relax. You might get a feeling of tinglingness, of some sort of energy in the body. Feel that, experience it, observe it, and spend as long as you wish right here in this state of feeling pure love, feeling love, not moving it, not sending it, not really even receiving it, just being it, just feeling it. Feeling it, it may feel expansive. You may just feel some upliftingness. Whatever it feels like to you in your body, just observe and enjoy. Relax into it. Continue that mantra of love, love, love. Love, 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 as you feel it, okay? 
So the mantra is important. Just keep repeating the word. If it's love or if it's peace or whatever else you're working with. It's important is that repeating the word and repeating and just feeling into what it feels like. Okay, so like I said, as long as you want, when you come out of it, just take a moment to breathe. Give thanks to your body. Give thanks to Mother Earth. Give thanks to your higher self. And if you were bringing any guides in with this, give thanks to them as well. And that's it. So what I'd suggest is doing this meditation just daily, and it does not have to be for very long. It could be five minutes. It could be even two minutes. But just feel into it and do this for a week. And by that time, or even longer if you want, maybe two weeks, but past that you probably don't need to do it much longer than that. But a couple, you know, week to two weeks of this, what it's going to do is going to train your body so that when you start telling it, okay, love, you're going to instantly come into that vibration of love effortlessly, easily. Okay, so when you start observing in your life that your emotions are going downhill or, you know, you're feeling stressed or whatever, just a moment of remind yourself love. You might, you know, go back to that hand stroke, love and, and breathe, and it's going to bring this feeling back in your body. It's going to bring you to that emotion of love, and you can start operating from there. And when we start doing that, that's embodying it. It's going to help you to stay in that vibration so that you can stay focused on your higher path, stay focused on your higher purpose, stay focused on the high road, and work in harmony with Mother Earth because at her core, Mother Earth really is all about love, right? And when we're grounded in that, then we're in alignment with how Mother Earth is really grounded too. And when, when you're coming from that vibration, people around you feel it. It changes the world. It really does. Thank you so much for joining me with this. I would love to hear your experience. Please do comment below. And I really encourage you to stick with this for a little bit, okay? It's easy to listen to a meditation and then forget it. But this is one that I'm really hoping that you will spend some time with. And like I said, it can only be just a few minutes a day. But I'd love to hear what changes you experience from this. And if you feel it's been helpful, please do like, comment, subscribe, and share. I really appreciate your energy here. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a lovely day.